So five, six people drop right there. This is enough for us. Then you continue working and climbing and you hit the first blizzard or snowstorm snow or whatever and you come to another rest area and another group of people say, you know what, this is great for me, you know, I want to settle here and I want to open up a little coffee shop or a chai place and sell herbs and vitamins and crystals or whatever, feathers or whatever to my fellow companion, whatever they need. And I'm going to open up a store here. So they settled there too. Now you're like 28 people. Then you keep going and the terrain gets rougher and it gets tougher. You're in serious blizzard. You have to climb up. It's hard work. Your hands are frozen. Your feet are frozen. You look down and there's thousands of miles of the cliff under you. You can fall down at any moment. It's really hard work and you get to the next mesa and another group of fellow travelers say, you know what, this is enough for me, you know, I just want to settle down here and I want to get married and raise my kids or whatever. And then you continue climbing up. So when you get to the peak's highest level of consciousness, if you get there and you look around and there is nobody there, you're the only one who's standing up there at the very, very peak. You're all alone by yourself. So what I'm telling you, get used to it because it is a lonely path. The more awakened you become, the higher is your level of consciousness, the less people is going to be there at your level. This is the truth. I'm sorry. I don't want to fool you. I have no intention of lying to you and creating or painting a rosy picture. Yes, you realize your oneness with everything. But you don't have a friend in your level that you can talk to. Everybody else is your devotee. They're your followers. They want something from you. And they don't understand where you're at. And you can share with them where you're at. You can transmit your light to them. Your presence will help them elevate. But they're not where you're at. And at the very end, when you're about to cross the bridge to the other side, you have to walk that path on yourself. Your cats, dogs, partners, kids cannot walk with you. This is your path. This is your walk. So become friends with aloneness. Learn to dive into being alone. Learn to make friends with it instead of resisting it. Because this is the path that you're brought to. Yes, you, as you more, your mind becomes quiet, 
and you're diving into yourself, a journey inside yourself, the juice that you get, the love that you're going to feel, is the fire that you discover in your own heart. And it gets stronger and stronger. You start to feel tremendous amount of love. And you find yourself being in blissed out space a lot of times. But you're going to be lonely. Other people who come to you, they want that love. And they want your help. They want your light. Which is fine. Because this is the path that you have brought to. And it's chosen. But know that you're going to be alone. Come to terms with that, with yourself. Now, having said what I said, I'm going to explain another part to you because this is very important. When you were born, your parents, let's say assuming, for, for those of us who are older and grew up with parents, and we were lucky to have parents, maybe it's a little bit of a different story in comparison to the new generations that don't have parents or they have single parents and that's the new trend it's fashionable to have one parent if having parents you can see it what is going on look around you and you'll see it But whether you have one parent or two or no parents and maybe soon in close future there will, they will not be any parents because they will just bring the babies up creating them in a tube. But for now we just want to stick to what is going on and stay with that. is when you were born you are a baby you're helpless you cannot speak so your existence is completely depending on your parents that's your lifeline the only people you know is your parents now, when I say parents, could be guardians or, you know, whatever. But I'm just saying parents for the sake of simplicity of our conversation, okay? So, you may come and tell me, well, I didn't grow up with parents. Or I grew up in a commune. Or I grew up with mother. Whatever. I'm just going to say parents, okay? Let's not get caught up on the words I'm using. But let's understand what I'm trying to convey to you is that you're completely helpless. A baby is absolutely helpless. So if the baby and nowadays, okay, traditionally the man goes to work. Of course, you have, you have a newborn baby as a mom your job and your desire is to take care of your baby. So naturally, you're going to have to stay home and take care of your baby. So your man is out there, if there is a man, to make a living and provide. And the mother is going to stay home and take care of the kids, of the baby. 